Breaking news, ladies and gents. Elon Musk to fight an octopus. Can you believe it? He just keeps doing these strange challenges. First it was, what was it, Vladimir Putin's Mark Zuckerberg, and now he wants to fight an innocent little octopus. No wonder he looks scared. In fact, hang on a minute, this isn't a real image of Elon, is it? I can tell that face isn't quite the same, and that definitely is not our UK plug. Shout out to the world's best plug design, by the way, but it definitely doesn't look like that. This article by Tom Barnard. Bernard, Bernard maybe? Um, looks like Tom Segura, to be honest, doesn't it? Have you seen Bad Thoughts on Netflix by Tom Segura. Oh my goodness me, we watched that last night. Check it out if you're not massively sensitive. Anyway, I've not even got started and I'm digressing. This article brought to you by electrifying.com. Tesla is set to take on energy company giants with its own tariff for domestic electricity supply. The company has applied to the official watchdog Ofgem for approval to offer energy packages to homes and businesses in England, Scotland and Wales. There is no official comment from Tesla about the move yet, but it already offers innovative energy packages to consumers in Texas, where owners of the company's EVs and Powerwall home batteries are able to charge at discounted rates and sell excess energy back to the grid at peak times, technology known as vehicle to grid. For a look at what's to come in other countries, let me share this. You know, in the summer, it's crazy in Texas. It's really, really hot in Texas. And if you work from home, you're running the AC all day. The bill started going up to $400, $500. Since we got the solar and power walls put in, it's come down a lot. When I switched to Tesla Electric, it started at 100 bucks and I even had like a $6 bill because they were just able to sell all the extra. I'm Stephen Baxter. Scott Baxter. Sarah Baxter. My dad decided to get solar first. He shopped around like a ton. He went with Tesla and just told me that it was very seamless. He put a hundred bucks down and then signed the documents. They were just there with all the panels, put them all up. We've got a total of 39 panels and the main reason is the Powerwall backup. Just having the peace of mind that I'm gonna have electricity pretty much 100% of the time regardless. I live just up the road. We have solar and a power wall. Well, Texas, it's a fairly isolated grid situation. In 21, we had a severe ice storm that knocked power out in a lot of communities. People had outages for multiple days. And one of the times we actually didn't even notice that the rest of the neighborhood had lost power because our power all just kicked on and we were sitting comfortably. None of that I have to think about. It just works. We also went with Tesla Electric because everything was sort of integrated in the plan that we were looking at. In Texas, someone who even rents or owns, you have to find your own energy provider. There's definitely a simplicity with Tesla Electric. I will say it's very clear what you're paying and what you're going to be paying. A lot of the other contracts that I had looked at, it changed only based if you used a certain amount of energy or if you were willing to sign up for however many year contract. The power walls provide energy in the evening when the sun isn't shining so that I'm using that stored energy every night to run my house or again with Tesla Electric to sell that on to the grid as it may be needed for other households. So this bill shows why the dynamic pricing is good. My bill was only six bucks. They also have the virtual power plant earnings that you can get, which again, just makes it a lot cheaper than anything else. The installation, the cost of your equipment is more than gonna be covered for your savings on electricity in a very short time, years, not decades. So with Tesla Electric, there's nothing hidden there and there's no base fee, there's no monthly fee, and that's not common with the electric companies, at least in Texas. Having all that and knowing it's gonna work for long periods of time is really nice peace of mind. So with seamless integration between a Tesla, a Powerwall, and possibly a few solar panels, Texans can significantly reduce or even eliminate their energy bills by generating, storing, and selling renewable energy, while also powering their homes during outages. This setup not only saves money, but also stabilizes the grid and supports a cleaner environment, making it an incredibly helpful solution to sustainable living. This is what we can expect Tesla Energy to offer us in the UK. And if it proves to be more cost effective than current energy providers, I don't suppose it'll take too much to persuade loyal Tesla owners to make the switch. However, Tesla are not the first in the UK to offer something this unique. Tesla's arch rival in the car market is BYD, which has recently announced a deal with the UK's biggest energy supplier, Octopus Energy, for a vehicle-to-grid package. It offers a leased BYD Dolphin car, 
That's a shame. A Zaptec Pro Charger and a Smart Tariff, all for £299 a month. Other car makers, including Nissan, Kia and Renault, are also known to be working on vehicle-to-grid packages, which would risk making Tesla look behind the curve. Now, Octopus have really put on a great deal here. You'll get in a car, its fuel and electricity for your home for £300 per month. That's not bad at all. Of course, Octopus really are one of the forefront leaders here in the UK for energy providers. I've been with Octopus Energy for years now. They really are a fantastic company. If you would like to join and split £100, please use my referral link in the description below this video. Thanks very much. Vehicle to grid is seen as a key to the future greenification of the energy grid as it helps smooth out the peaks and troughs which naturally occur when using renewable energy. When the grid is under pressure, the energy stored in your EV's battery can be fed back to power homes and it charges back up when demand is low. With more than 250,000 Tesla cars and an estimated 10,000 power walls in the UK, the company already has a sizeable customer base. It is also looking to expand its solar panel business in the UK, meaning it could become a meaningful electricity generator by harnessing the power of customers' batteries and panels. This is a whole new way to think about energy generation and distribution. Virtual power plants are networks of decentralised energy resources, like Tesla's 10,000 UK power walls that are already connected to the electricity grid, plus a quarter of a million Tesla vehicle batteries that could be connected and called upon for energy too. In fact, everyone else's EVs and battery systems as well. All this controlled by smart software that coordinates when these devices charge or discharge energy based on demand and price signals. For example, during off-peak hours, batteries charge with cheap electricity, and during peak times, they release stored energy back to the grid at higher rates. Exporters, which is homeowners or businesses with these systems, make money by selling this excess energy to the grid or energy companies, earning revenue through programs like Tesla's VPP initiatives, while also benefiting from lower personal energy costs and grid stability support. This is a promising shift towards a practical energy future where your car and home can contribute to powering the grid supporting a cleaner, smarter and more cost-effective system for everyone. Unlike the big rivals in the energy sector, Tesla has not applied to supply gas, meaning any customers would not be able to use the popular dual fuel packages for UK homes. Oh, imagine the irony of Tesla suddenly supplying gas. The application will take around eight months to be approved, meaning any Tesla power package would not be available until spring 2026. But for me, it'll be a sad day when I switch from Octopus Energy to Tesla Energy. Uh, you know, I'll be excited to join Teslas, of course, but in part because I love what Octopus Energy have achieved with their innovative tariffs and dedication to renewable energy. But I know how seamless Tesla's tech is already. So the seamless integration of a Tesla Powerwall, some solar panels and the emergence of vehicle to grid capabilities offers an exciting chance to greatly lower energy bills and support a more sustainable, resilient grid in the UK, which would be incredibly empowering and helpful for both my finances, energy security and the environment. A win-win-win or a little way off right now? As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below and if you'd like to click on one of these videos next, have a butchers. I'm Will, this is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thank you, Patreons. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.